Alright. Uh, am I here yet? Well, yeah, that's a minaret. Ah, shit. Sorry, sorry. It's just a poor Italian boy trying to get around town. Yeah, there she is. Hiya, Sophia. Wow. Hey, let's get a closer look, shall we? Yep. I believe the first uh, church was built by Constantine and the second one by Theodosius. And both of them were burned down during riots. I think Theodosius' church was burned down during the Nika riots and uh, Justinian had this one built out of stone so that they couldn't really burn as easily. Yep, and it was the largest cathedral until the Spanish built their cathedral in Seville. Yeah, it's a museum nowadays, but uh, I mean, it's much more than that. Uh, this was built in 537. It was designed by two mathematicians. Let's see if I can remember the name. Isidore Militus and... Uh, what was the guy's name? Ethemius of Trails or something. He actually died about a year into uh, production, I guess you could say. So I guess it was really Isidore of Militus who uh, oversaw the construction of Hagia Sophia. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I remember it being. Yeah, I think Hagia Sophia is about 180 feet tall. So, yeah, this was a huge, huge church. Of course, I guess it's a mosque now. Oh, they got four minarets. Here's the dome. This is actually the second dome, the first dome that was designed by uh, Isidore and uh, Anthemius. Actually collapsed about 20 years after they built it. Uh, a major earthquake hit the structure and just, man, collapsed it. But Isidore's younger nephew Isidore, I think his name was Isidore the Younger, actually redesigned the dome, and uh, this is actually the current dome. Yep, and after the city fell to the Ottomans, they, uh, you know, turned it into a mosque, had this crescent moon installed, and uh, built the four minarets. Oddly enough, they built two minarets first, and then 50 years later, some guy was like, hey, let's build two more. So, now there are four. That's pretty amazing, though, getting to watch the sunset on top of Hagia Sophia. <laughs> Tell you, man, only in video games. Only in video games. Let's see, you got a pretty good view from up here. I think that's the Hippodrome over there. Uh, there's some more mosques. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, where to next? Hi Irene. Oh, and uh, by the way, Hagia Sophia means holy wisdom or divine wisdom. Basically, that part of the Holy Trinity, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. The holy wisdom is the Holy Ghost part, I guess. Now, unfortunately, the Blue Mosque or Saltnock Meds Mosque isn't built yet. It's going to be built in about 100 years, but I think... I think they would build it like right about here and that's my favorite building in Constantinople It's just so gorgeous on the inside and the outside. So can't wait to see the blue mosque in person Yeah, pretty amazing pretty amazing Now let's go see Haya Arine, which I think means holy something <laughs> Uh Holy heaven or something. Alright, need a haystack. <coughs> Jesus, this thing is freaking big.
Yeah, it's one thing climbing up, it's another climbing down. But now hook blade you look. Alright. Uh looks like uh Haya Aveen is in a part of town that I do not want to get spotted at. Hiya Sophia. Beautiful. Yeah, the inside is just even more spectacular. Yeah. Well, I mean, when Justinian uh, walked around it for the first time, he actually proclaimed that, Solomon, I have outdone thee, basically meaning my temple's better than your temple. Hi, I mean, all right, what's this place about? Holy peace, all right, that's what I mean means, okay. Music call, huh? Looks kind of small for a music hall. Be rather <coughs> intimate. <sighs> Pretty peaceful around here. So uh, I guess this is the royal palace of the uh, Ottoman Empire. Looks kind of swanky. Uh. Is there anybody around I should worry about? Sneak around the royal palace. Why not? I'm your tour guide. What can go wrong? Yeah, they call it first hill. I guess that's probably, um... Probably just, you know, kind of like what they did in Rome with all the hills, the Palatine Hill, the uh, capital, what was it, the capital Capitolian Hill and all that. So it's probably, yeah, they're kind of just doing that in this city. I can't remember how many hills are in uh, Rome. I think like seven. I think Constantinople has like three or four. So, yeah. I guess they're just kind of doing that out of respect for Rome. Like, hey, we got hills too. Oh, and by the way, that uh, kid I was talking to on the boat in the opening cinematic, that was Suleiman the Magnificent. In disguise, of course. Well, I'd see I was in disguise. He wasn't exactly, hey, I'm the master of the Assassin's Order. Well, let's take a look at the palace, shall we? Ooh, I wonder where the harem is. Wow! <laughs> yeah, let me loosen there. Yeah, man. Doesn't look too fancy, but maybe the inside looks awesome. Too bad I can't go inside. Well, maybe you can. One way to find out. Uh, I don't want to get in combat. I'm a peaceful tour guide. Sort of. Ah, there she is. Hiya Sophia. 